right guys it's me again and it has been a long time since i created a video and i had some personal issues but in today's video i'm gonna install the latest version of mac os sonoma which is sonoma version 14.1.1 and the drill is just the same like all other videos but in today we are not going to use the balena etcher to create a bootable usb but we are going to use let me show you the win32 disk imager you can see i'm using windows 7 here pretty solid machine right here so and my cpu is just the same the core i3 6100 so let me get started with the requirements sorry first you need to have the image you can just download it from olarilla.com i'll leave a link in the description where you can get the latest version of 14.1.1 actually this video is best if you are coming from windows and you don't have a, a mac os install or a Macintosh install on your machine so this is typically for that guy that just want to get started with Macintosh and you're trying to transist from mac os to sorry from windows to mac os so you need to download the file from olarilla i'll leave a link in the description of the video below so also the next requirement you need to have explorer plus plus which you'll need to copy our efi uh you will see later in the video how this explorer plus plus is used also you need to have the mini tool partition wizard and lastly you need to have the win this win 32 disk image also the you need to have the efi that's supported for your machine and if you don't know how to create your own efi i've made a few videos i'll leave them down in the description below where you can check them out how to create your own efi also if you need to have the pre-made you can just come here to olarilla and go to the pre-made and then you choose your chipset right here if it is sandy bridge as well skylake etc you can download them there and then you can use it so without wasting my time let me let me get started first let me open my my win disk imager so and let me just plug my usb so let me just open my explorer plug oh sorry mini tool partition and then let me find my this is my usb that i want to create the bootable so i'll just delete all the partition and i'll create a new fat 32 okay and then apply right so let's close this one and actually there's something i've missed here let me just re you can see it say this my disk is in mbr but in mac os you need to have it in gpt so i'll just convert to gpt from mini tool partition so that it can be compatible with the mac os 
So you can see right here it says it's a GPT partition format. So let me close it. So this is our Win Disk Image, and you can see this is my Olarilla 14.1.1.ro. .1 so I'll just mount and then I'll just write it. So let me. This is my USB, which is letter G. So you can see here it's G. So let me just choose on my desktop. And then. I'll just select all files and then I'll just write. So you will get this warning, just hit on continue and it will start to write on the on our USB. So it's a long process. So I'll just pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay guys, so you can see here we have our successfully message which says the right was successfully. So our flash drive is ready. And the next thing we need to, to do right is just copy our copy our EFI which is let me just to copy this EFI to our USB so what we need to do we need to open the mini tool partition launch it and then let's find our can see here this is our flash drive and you can see it has created the EFI partition so what you need to do you need to change the letter and let's name it let's go with J apply and the next thing we need to op run Explorer++ plus plus as an administrator like so. so let me just let this one finish okay so it has just finished with the changing of the letter so let me minimize this one and like I said before, this is where Explorer++ plus plus comes in. So just run it as an administrator so that we can able we can be able to copy our EFI folder to the EFI partition. So let me just copy this one. And one thing before I continue, you need to have updated text for your EFI so that you can be able to boot uh, Mac OS or Noma. So uh, I think you should know that. So let's. Okay, so that one is done. And our. I think now our. So Noma is ready to boot, so I'll just restart this machine and then we can continue with the installation. So let me just... Okay, so let's install our Sonoma. So just hit F12 and then select the USB that we have just created and you have to choose macOS install macOS Sonoma don't enter and let's wait for the
okay there you go you have the bar right there the bottom so let's wait for it oops like that so we have our uh, setup screen so the drill is just the same continue go to disk utility continue and select show all devices and then come here Let's just erase all this and I'll call it Sonoma HD Erase Done Close Disk Utility Install Mac OS Sonoma Continue Continue So just agree Select the disk that you have just formatted and then hit on continue so the installation process will start so I just pause the video and come back when it's done okay guys so that's just restarted and as you can see it has booted to Sonoma HD so let's continue with the installation and set up our Sonoma Okay, you can see the mouse cursor right there. Okay, it has just restarted one more time. Enter. Right, so here we are so let's set up our uh, region or country if you want to call it that way or just find okay continue I'll just move that and then continue not now continue click on not now agree and then let me just set my test and then let's go enter your password right here verify continue
cleaning don't use Check that one, continue, set up later, screw it. There you go guys, this is our Mac OS Sonoma, so let me just set my keyboard. There you go guys. If you go to about this sorry. You can see in about this mark. This is Mac OS Sonoma fourteen dot one dot one. The build number is 23B81. So guys, that's it for this video. And see you on the next one. So, just a gintosh it. Peace.